Tired of your 3D printings not turning out the way you want? Is stringing ruining your life? Well, not to fear, introducing retraction. With just a simple click of the mouse and a check of a box, you can now live life worry-free. Retraction can be found at your nearest slicing software available on your computer. This advertisement was not sponsored by anybody. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another SandTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed our unpaid sponsorship that you saw earlier today. But uh, seriously, uh, getting down to business. Um, stringing, it is a huge problem in the 3D printing world. And a lot of people that are new, including myself, <clears throat> have ran into that. Okay, uh, what I'm covering today is the main factor, which is the retraction uh, feature that could be enabled or disabled uh, just keep in mind also guys temperature does play a part in it as well um, and the amount of flow but if you have the extraction enabled that saves you about 80 percent of the stringing that you're gonna get and I'll go into more detail of how that works uh, but first what I'm going to do in this video is we are going to Thingiverse again where I get all of my testing uh, STL files. I will leave a link down below for you guys as well. I highly recommend that you do this. It's only like a 20 minute print. Um, basically you have these two poles here and your uh, extruder is going to go back and forth and in between you will see if you get stringing or not. So this is a good basic stringing test that you can download from Thingiverse. I am going to put a uh, link below like always. So I've already downloaded this um, and I'm gonna go ahead and import it into my slicing program okay now I normally use Kira uh, that seems to be my poison so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with it uh, I'm gonna open this bad boy up go to my downloads string test there it is the only thing I'm gonna change about this is I'm gonna go and rotate it okay so you can do that. Now if you notice down here guys, it's only a 20 minute print like I said. Now the things that you will need to test. Now for the basis of this video, I am going to turn off the extraction feature. Okay, And then on my next video, I'm going to uh, turn it on so you can see the difference between the two. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to leave layer height at 2, wall thickness at 2, top and bottom thickness at 2, infill. i um, just going to put it at 5 because it really doesn't matter at this point. Temperature, I'm going to leave at 200. Now, do keep in mind, guys, temperature does play a role. But if you stay within the specific guidelines set forth by the manufacturer of the spool that you're using, uh, you won't have a problem. So, like, mine's 180 to 210. So if I set it anywhere in there, I should be good. Um, normally 200 to 210 is a good temperature set PLA at. So just keep that in mind. Heated bed will be at 60 like always. Filament size, is there any other? Um, I use 1.75. And uh, the flow, now this is the amount of filament that comes out of your nozzle. I like to just leave it at 100 guys, don't change that. So your temperature is one factor, a minor factor and uh, the flow is another minor factor so I'm not gonna go over those but I will explain it to you right now uh, if your temperature is too hot the filaments not gonna have enough time to cool down and stick together um, if you don't have the right amount of flow coming you're gonna get stringing warping um, bubbles things like that okay so <clears throat> just make sure your printing temperature is roughly around 200 and your flow is at 100 now, the, for the purpose of this test, I am going to disable the retraction portion. Uh, what retraction is, for those of you who don't know, basically when you have two prints like this, okay? So basically when I, when I turn this into G-code, the printer is going to print this and then go here and then here and here and here and here and here. The, the travel between the two pillars that you see here, 
uh, if you don't have extraction turned on, basically you're telling the computer or the printer that, hey, when, when you're going from here to here, go ahead and just keep spitting your filament out. Not a problem. But when you go ahead and enable it, what that does is as it's traveling from here to here, the filament sucks it back up a little. Okay, um, so normally filament moves in the forward direction, but when you have enabled retraction, it kind of jerks it back a little. So by the time you travel from here to here, there is no flow of filament. So it takes the pressure off the nozzle. Um, the best way I can explain it is these those icing bags that people or chefs use to put icing on the cake. As you put pressure on it, uh, it will come out. But as soon as you take the pressure off, even though it's right at the tip of the nozzle, it won't spill out. So <clears throat> as it's printing, uh, the extruder throws uh, pressure into uh, pressure into the fill uh, the filament, and the filament comes out the nozzle. But when it when you have in, uh, retraction enabled, it takes that pressure off. So going from here to here, it will not spill the filament out as it's moving. Okay. Another thing just to keep in mind, uh, this is like a normal setting, guys, that you guys should be doing, but have your fans enabled. In Cura, as default, uh, the fan starts at layer 2, so your first layer goes nice and uh, thick and hot um, onto your bed so it sticks. Okay. On this one, I'm not going to do any support. I am going to put a skirt just to get the nozzle flowing, the filament coming out. <clears throat> and... Uh, I already went over travel speed. Like I said, it's just the distance between here and the print speed is actually the speed that it prints here. And I'm going to leave that at 50 and travel will be at 100. You can go higher. You can go to 120 if you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know what? We'll go ahead and leave it at 120. That should be fine. And the only thing I'm going to do is uncheck enable retraction. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and save this. Let's just go ahead and go to desktop save okay so that's gonna be my first print on the second print that I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave you everything exactly the same I'm just gonna enable retraction okay and let me go ahead and save that and I'll name this string test 2 and I saved it okay let me go ahead and get this thing printed okay so here are the two end results that uh, we created the G codes for the one on the left is if you notice it is the one that the retraction enabled is not selected the one on the right it is the one with retraction enabled okay let's go over the first one first okay if you notice everything else came out perfectly fine your base is great your pillars are good they're both even, they're both straight, there's nothing wrong. The settings were perfect. The only thing we did change is we enabled, uh, sorry, we took away retraction. So what that does is, like I said earlier, the travel from here to here, that's what you see right there. That's what those little stringing things are. Back and forth, back and forth, that's all it does. And these little blobs that you see in the middle, like here and here, Basically what that is, is um, the filament at some times, even though it is being re uh, retracted, um, given that your temperature might be a little too high, uh, those will be some of the end results. But in here, that necessarily wasn't the case, because if temperature played a role, then you would have seen a lot more of this all throughout. Okay, So this is basically just stringing, mainly going back and forth, back and forth. And because of that, <clears throat> the retraction wasn't turned on so I can show you guys and prove a point on this video so you can physically or uh, see what I am talking about instead of me just saying it okay uh, it is a pretty small um, test but it does prove the point if you notice right there but if you take this away the stringing in the middle you're basically left with this look at how clean that looks the base is perfect, the pillars are perfect, even the end piece at the top came out smooth. I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with that piece right there. It's beautiful. I mean, all you got to do, you don't even have to sand it. You just got to paint it if you want to. 
If not, then you're all set. But that's the difference between the two guys. You have retraction off, and then you have retraction on. Okay? So when you're doing your 3D prints, just make sure your temperature is around 200, bed is at 60, your flow of filament is at 100, roughly around there. And print speed, try to do it lower. Um, I keep it around 50 or 60. So it just depends on what you're printing. Um, just use it for that, okay? And the travel speed, try to keep it at 100. It might add a little bit more time, but you know what? In the long run, when you just got done doing a 30-hour print, the last thing you want to see is imperfections in your 3D print. With that said, you be the judge. Would you prefer enable or not enable retraction? Okay. Um, so that's basically it. That brings us to the end of our video for today, guys. I really enjoy making these videos for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please leave a comment uh, below. And I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. If there's videos that I haven't made and you would like to see or you have questions about certain videos, uh, just let me know and I will get back to you guys. Now with that said, just like always guys, good luck and happy printing. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Bye!